four years, Finland bucked the trend of NATO expansion that was catching fire throughout the post-Soviet European mainland. Old habits like neutrality, though, die hard. But while NATO went through eight rounds of enlargement, expanding the alliance to include 30 countries while adding nations such as Spain and Slovenia that punched below their weight on military spending, Finland was getting stronger. With memories of the Soviet invasion during World War II still vivid in the public imagination, when the Finns lost a tenth of their territory but did avoid occupation, Finland bucked the post-Cold War trend in Europe of divesting military assets during the 1990s and only formally joined NATO this week. Finland, much to the delight of the United States, already spends 2% of its GDP on defence, the alliance's military target, and is used to fielding weapons similar to the rest of NATO. For example, Finland will field F-35 fighter jets by 2025, replacing the currently deployed F-18 Hornets. And Finland is one of only a few countries that fire the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, the JASSM, in defence parlance, which allows Finnish fighter jets to launch armour-piercing standoff strikes. And while Finland's standing military is just 23,000 troops, smaller than New York City's police force, Helsinki is ready to mobilise a force of up to 280,000 in wartime, owing to a model of national conscription that calls on men over the age of 18 to serve up to a year in the armed forces. Current and former European and US officials do insist that these call-ups aren't just a bunch of bench warmers from the practice squad though. Jim Townsend, a former US Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defence for NATO and Europe, said that, quote, they can mobilise pretty quickly a very professional group, not just a bunch of overweight reservists in their 50s. Russia's western flank, which shares an 800-mile border with Finland, is all of a sudden looking a lot less threatening more than a year into Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, which has left a skeletal Russian force hanging around in the Nordic Baltic region. Finnish officials are still banking on Turkey softening its opposition to Sweden's NATO bid for naval and logistical support, but Helsinki has already announced plans to buy the Israeli-made David Sling medium-range air defence system and has deployed the Norwegian and US-made National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, the same batteries that defend Washington DC from the threat of an aerial assault. NATO was already in the Baltic region before Finland's entry though, with Norway closer to the Russian port city of Murmansk than Finland, and Narva, Estonia nearer to St. Petersburg, with the stopping power of swamps, forests and water in between NATO and Russian lines. The entry of a 31st country in the alliance will force NATO to update its command structure and rejig defence plans further north, but Finnish officials see it as an opportunity to extend deterrence into the North and Baltic seas to counter Russian aggression. And Finland's military is going to be put to NATO standard tests almost immediately on entry. Though Finland has participated in low-level exercises with NATO troops before, the Multinational Defender 23 exercise kicking off in Europe this month will see Finnish troops participating shoulder to shoulder with 9,000 US forces, the first large-scale operation the Nordic country has conducted with the alliance. Finnish pilots will conduct overflights in the North Sea in their F-18 Hornets during the exercise that spans 10 countries, German Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Ingo Gerhardt said in a press conference at the German Embassy in Washington on Tuesday. He sketched a scenario that maps how the Alliance would respond to the invocation of NATO's Article 5 self-defence clause on the European mainland. From an air power perspective, US military officials are already looking at the options to integrate Finland's intelligence collection capabilities into NATO, as well as extending the ability of the alliance to operate in frigid conditions. And Finland has kept a winter war mindset stemming from the 1939 Soviet invasion. Lieutenant General Michael Lowe, director of the US Air National Guard, said, quote, It's an agile combat employment. They have landing strips just about anywhere, and they go right into the roads. And the ongoing fighting beyond NATO's borders has compounded Russia's difficulties in the West, while it battles with a futile bid to conquer Ukraine. 
Russia's once feared 200th separate motor rifle brigade with tanks, artillery and missile defences in tow suffered heavy losses in the assault on Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and the 138th Motorized Rifle Brigade reportedly suffered such heavy losses in the city that some troops tried to mutiny. It could take years, if not decades, for Russia to return to military strength along the northern Kola Peninsula, the big chunk of land that uh, connects to northern Finland. Indeed, the Baltic Sea was once a Russian lake, fronted on one side by Warsaw Pact nations and ringed by a neutral Finland and Sweden that wanted nothing to do with the nuclear tensions between Moscow and NATO. Now, the Kola Peninsula, home to Russia's northern fleet, ballistic missile submarines and its only aircraft carrier, is right up against NATO borders and aspirants, and is only connected by a single railway line. So, as Finland ends military non-alignment that it has adhered to since 1945, and Russia saying that uh, Finland's made a dangerous historical mistake and claiming countermeasures would be deployed, what is next for Russian power in the region then? Well, it is undoubtedly not good for the Russians. Finland's accession ends seven decades of non-alignment, roughly doubles the length of the border with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and Russia, and bolsters NATO's eastern flank as the war in Ukraine grinds on with no resolution in sight. For almost 75 years, the NATO alliance has shielded its own nations and continues to do so today, as the Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg declared at the ceremony of Finnish accession. Putin took a gamble in Ukraine that has not paid off whatsoever. Not only are his forces being ground down in a quagmire, but the very alliance he hopes to undermine has bolstered itself with a new member and another potential new member in Sweden. Overall, a NATO member sitting so close to key Russian assets and extending the Russian NATO border by 800 miles can only be seen as a complete destruction of Russian power in the Baltic Sea and the North in general. As Russian and Wagner forces are being eviscerated in the meat grinder of Bakhmut and eastern Ukraine in general, it can be said then that Russian power is in a certain decline. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.